Today on the bench, we're going to tie you up the pumpkin head. This pattern was originally designed by John Cant, a well-known fly tire in BC. So make sure you have these materials ready before you tie the fly. For the hook, we'll use a size 14 2X long curved nymph. Some 8 aught olive thread to tie with. Some olive marabou as a tail. A 7 64th inch red glass bead as the bead. Some burnt orange grizzly hackle for the hackle and some UV2 olive sparkle yarn for the body. To start the fly off, I've got the thread wrapped on the hook. I'm going to take a clump of my marabou and make sure it's a, a nice clump. What I'm going to do is tie it in and don't worry about the length because we're actually going to pull it to, to seal it up. And I go right behind my bead to fill in a bit of the gap behind the bead. Then work my thread back to form a little bit of a body on the fly. And make sure you go about around the back of the tail a couple times just to hold it up. Now that the tail's tied in, we want it to be a certain length, and I like it about the length of the body. So what I'm gonna do is look back, make it about the same length, and then I'm just gonna pull all this material off and just pull it with your fingers. And I want this fluffy stuff. I like the fluffy stuff on there to form the tail. Now that the tail's tied in and we've got a little bit of a body built up, I'm gonna take a hackle, one of my burnt orange hackles, and you can actually tie it in by the butt and leave the whole hackle intact or strip off one side of it. A lot of my patterns I like to keep the hackle intact, but on this one here, I'm just gonna take these materials and anything that's in the bottom, just those bottom fibers, I'm just gonna strip it off because I want the hackle to be quite sparse on this fly. So I'm just taking off all the, the bottom barbels on the hackle. And then I'm gonna tie it in to the back of the hook. Now the hackle's tied in, you have different options. You can actually leave the body that you've already formed with that marabou, which is a little bit thinner, or you can thick it up in a bit. And I like to thicken it just a little bit with a sparkle yarn. It just gives it a real nice UV sparkle. So I'm just gonna tie that at the back of the hook, right down where I tied in the hackle, move my thread forward, and then wrap that sparkle yarn up to form the body. And you can see it gives it a real nice sparkle to the body. Now the body's tied in, I'm gonna take the hackle, and I like to use hackle pliers because these hackles are a little bit smaller, tougher to grab, and I'm gonna go reverse order. So I'm laying the flat part of the hackle down onto the, to the body, so that the hackles stick out. And I like about four turns up, and then a couple of, couple of turns at the head of the fly. And then we'll just tie it off near the head. And as I tie off, I just pull this hackle back. Just pull all the hackle back a bit and tie in a nice head on the fly. So to finish the fly off, I like to use my whip finisher. And a lot of people have requested that we actually show how to whip finish. So I'm gonna go through this and show you how we do this. So what I'm gonna do is take the thread and you actually just pull it so it's parallel to the plane that you're tying on. You hook your thread with your whip finisher let the thread fall straight down again, hook it on the back of the whip finisher to form a triangle. You see it forms a triangle with the thread. Bring the tip around, catch the thread, pick up the thread as you come around, and just keep that triangle going for one, two, three, four spins. Pull it straight up, unhook the bottom, pull your thread down, and unhook it. And that's the whip finish. So there it is, the finished pumpkin head. Where I've found this fly to be the most effective is when you have damsel or mayfly nymphs on the move. To watch all our latest Sport Fishing on the Fly episodes and to order Sport Fishing on the Fly merchandise, head to www.sfotf.ca and if you'd like to book an adventure like this one shown, head to ontheflyadventures.ca and book yourself the trip of a lifetime.